This video will demonstrate the operation of our N31 series 20 foot auto lock container lifting spreader. The auto lock spreader is designed to lift intermodal containers like the one pictured by locking into the top corners of the container. Our auto lock spreaders are available in many sizes including, but not limited to, 10, 20, and 40 foot models. To correspond with the standard container lengths and have working loads or capacities that equal or exceed the capacities for those container sizes. This spreader happens to have a capacity of 70,528 pounds, which exceeds the standard capacity for 20 foot container. It is important to know the capacity of the container and not to overload it. As you can see from the container capacity markings, this container has a weight capacity of 67,200 pounds. For demonstration purposes, we are lifting this container empty, but be certain of the weight you are lifting and never exceed the capacity of the spreader and crane. Another precaution is to make sure that the container you plan to lift is certified as a safe container. Check to see if it has a CSC plate, like this, which stands for Certification for Safe Containers. Often, storage containers are containers that may be weather tight, but have been taken out of the shipping service and should not be lifted unless empty. Storage containers are typically not structurally sound, and they may fail if lifted while containing a load. This could cause significant property damage and could easily kill someone if the container were to fall on them. Be sure the container you are lifting is structurally sound. All tandem lock auto lock spreaders are designed and manufactured in full conformance to ISO 3874, which specifies methods for container lifting, and ASME B30.20, which controls below the hook lifting devices. Additionally, every auto lock is proof tested to 125% of its working load limit, which is unusual in the industry. We find that many other manufacturers of lifting devices do not test every single lifter. Some don't test at all, others test a sample. At Tandem Lock, we believe that every single lifter should be proof tested, and we do so. Let's go over the different parts of the spreader and learn what the components do. The two major components are the wire rope sling and the frame. The wire rope sling connects to the four corners of the frame and has a single hook point for the crane. The frame is designed to absorb the compressive forces imparted by the sling due to the angular loading at each corner. Loaded containers, when lifted from the top, must be lifted using a container spreader frame, otherwise the container could sag and collapse. In each of the four corners of the frame are twist lock bayonets. The bayonets are designed to fit into the corner fittings as you can see at the top of our container. This is a corner fitting, and this is the opening at the very top, and the spreader bayonets are designed to fit into and twist lock inside of the corner fitting. All four bayonets are linked together and turned simultaneously each time the four leg sling is slackened. This is the gearbox, which controls the locking and unlocking of the bayonets. Each time the weighted arm is raised and then lowered, the twist lock bayonets alternate between lock and unlock. The gearbox is connected to the four-legged sling by the use of an activator sling. Only when there is no load on the sling will the twist locks lock or unlock. As the crane operator lowers his hook and the sling wire slackens, note the red flags at each corner. These indicator flags are directly connected to the bayonets showing the crane operator their position. As a safety note, make sure all flags are intact and make sure they are all turned in the same direction before lifting. In the unlikely event there is a problem, the flags will tell you. Never use the auto lock without the indicator flags. Now the crane operator hoists. Note that the twist locks stay in the lock position. Now the crane operator lowers the hook, and as you can see, the auto lock is back to the unlock position. Okay, now that we've gone over the components and their functions, we're ready to demonstrate a container lift. We're going to first lift the spreader up some so we can show you how to deploy the flipper guides. We'll lift a few feet. The flipper guides are up now, but to make it easier to guide the bayonets into the corner fittings, flippers are the ticket and come standard on our spreaders. To operate, unlock the handle, lift up the flipper, swing it down, lock it into the mount, and then return the handle to the lock position. You deploy all four flippers before doing your lift. Okay, now we're ready to lift.
As you can see, the flags are in the unlocked position and they'll stay this way until the operator completely slackens the sling. As you can see, the flippers are a real help in locating the spreader on the container. Okay, now we notice that as the operator slackens the sling completely, the flags and therefore the bayonets lock into the container and we are now ready to lift slowly and smoothly. It's fast and it only takes the crane operator to make the lift. Now we lower back to the ground. Note the rotation of the flags and bayonets as the operator fully slackens the activator sling. Now we're ready to lift the spreader up and away from the container. And we have completed a cycle of lifting and lowering a container using an autolock spreader by tandem lock. Stowing the flipper guides is the reverse of the operation shown before. First you unlock the handle, then raise up the flipper, rotate it to the storage position and engage the flipper mount and lock the handle back. You should always stow the flipper guides and store the spreader on dunnage as you should never store it sitting on the bayonets.
Both 20 foot and 40 foot spreaders are kept in stock. We also offer variations for special containers as well as a version for use for forklifts. Visit our website for more details and a complete view of a huge variety of lifters for containers or for general lifting purposes.